Ben no. Jimmy's Universe. Ben Jimmy's Universe. Rabbit Hole Chronicles. Oh. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it though. You can uh, you can go ahead and pot it down, DJ Brother Z. I like the song. Oh yeah, it's Gangsta's Paradise. So, with that being said, Truth Nation, this is Rabbit Hole Chronicles with your boy Benjamin. And what this segment is going to entail, all right, are all the lies and truths and conspiracies of what's going on in our world, or should I say, in Benjamin's universe. <sighs> so, if you guys do not know, today an article came out in the New York Post, and I was flabbergasted. All right, I was flabbergasted, okay? One of the biggest reasons is because so many people out here in the world continue to go, let me get to this, uh, continue to believe the lies. All right, continue to believe the lies and continue to participate in this program, all right? And if you guys don't know the program that I'm talking about, all right, it's a program that affects all communities. And I would like to say predominantly the black community. It happens to be on each and every street corner, all right? And with that being said, I'm taking an aim at Planned Parenthood. All right. So if you guys do not know, tap into the New York Post article. A pro-life activist investigated for criminal activity by a then-known California Attorney General, Kamala Harris, in 2015 released undercover footage showing Planned Parenthood executives Apparently, okay, discussing the sale of body parts from late-term fetuses, some of which had been delivered alive and mostly intact. And you all see and hear in this audio that DJ Brother Z is about to play for you all that the young investigator caught while talking to Planned Parenthood execs and representatives of the company. They'll go on to talk about things as, oh, there's some lungs and, oh, there's some kidneys. It gets dark. It gets gruesome in Ben Jammer's universe. DJ Brother T, go ahead. Wow. I don't know about y'all, Chief Nation, but what can I you heard was yeah, Can you explain what they said? So what you all heard in the audio right there um, when the girl was investigating Planned Parenthood. Because it looked like they were at a career fair or something like that. The audio in the video goes on to be narrated and investigated by David Dally Dean of the Center of Medical Progress, all right, who posed with a colleague as a laboratory wholesaler at the National Abortion Federation's commercial trade show in 2015. It videotaped two conversations with one, I'm not going to go ahead and slash her name or slander her name, but Dr. Ann is what I'll leave it with, and the chief medical officer of Planned Parenthood Gulf Coast and Tram who is an RN, the branch's vice president of abortion access. While the CMP has always contended that Dale Dean's videos revealed illegalities, Planned Parenthood said at the time that the initial videos were released that their staffers were discussing legal not-for-profit donation of fetal tissue to research firms. But Dale Dean claimed these new, newly released videos show even more demonstratively that Planned Parenthood's talking points at the, time, at the time were false and that the staff was engaged in wrongdoing. All right? So in doing so, I pose this question to everybody out there, Truth Nation and all the Juicy Gem is listening. Is abortion ethical? All right? If, is abortion ethical? If, if, if you truly knew how sinister some of these programs are, some of these organizations are, especially when we talk about Planned Parenthood. A lot of us, I don't know if everybody knows, but if you had your third eye open for the past few decades, you would know that Margaret Sanger wanted to exterminate blacks. That was her whole premise of even starting the organization. And now it's on every street corner. I ain't gonna say every street corner, but it's predominantly <laughs> in our communities. Mm -hmm. Readily available for you to kill your baby. 
readily available for you to kill your baby. And I also want to go and run this other audio from a credible source. Uh, I like to call Vox. I ain't gonna call it Vox. They call themselves Vox. All right, they call themselves Vox. V O X. All right, and they are a video platform. You can guy. You guys can watch on YouTube. Um, and they go and actually talk about this exact thing that ended up happening in this uh, investigation and what was going on with a lot of the rumors with uh, Planned Parenthood actually selling babies' body parts. I find it quite disturbing, especially knowing the fact that a lot of celebrities go to use babies' skin for beauty enhancement. It's sickening. But DJ Brother Z, roll that tape. Over the past three weeks, an anti-abortion group has been releasing a series of sting videos on Planned Parenthood. An undercover video alleges that the organization sells body parts from abortions. Planned Parenthood is under attack by a group called... The Center for Medical Progress, a pro-life group. They pretended to be a company that procures fetal tissue from abortion clinics and gets it to researchers. They're essentially using little cameras, presumably pinned to their shirt, and they argue in the video that Planned Parenthood is profiting off of the sale of fetal tissue. I would say it's probably anywhere from $30 to $100, depending on the facility and what's involved. And if Planned Parenthood were making profits, that would be illegal. It is illegal under federal law to make money off of any sort of body parts, fetal or otherwise. However, those regulations do make space for people who provide tissue and organs to be compensated for whatever work has to happen to preserve those organs. And I should mention, these are pretty heavily edited. If you watch the full unedited videos, you do see Planned Parenthood officials repeatedly saying, you know, we're not going to make profit. This is to cover our costs. Our goal, like I said, is to, is to, is to give patients the option without impacting our bottom line. The, the, the messaging is this should not be seen as some new revenue stream because that is not what it is. There is a congressional investigation into the issue happening, but at this point, they don't seem to prove that Planned Parenthood makes profit. Planned Parenthood stands behind our work to help women and families donate tissue for medical research when they wish to. They do show some things that are uncomfortable for even people who support abortion rights. They do show the actual fetal body parts, and I think it was surprising to see that sometimes Planned Parenthood is willing to slightly alter the abortion procedure to make sure that tissue comes out more intact so it's able to be used in research. Do you maintain enough of the dialogue to the person that's actually doing the procedures and they understand what the end game is? There are little things, changes they can make yeah. in their technique to increase your... I think that raises some ethical issues about, you know, is this a good practice for women? Are their patients okay with their procedure being changed in the service of procuring better tissue? Now, many people feel this is Nazi stuff. This is this is what they did in the, in the Third Reich. There's been a very swift political reaction to these videos. The Senate will vote on defunding Planned Parenthood before we go home in August. About 40% of Planned Parenthood's money comes from the government, from both state and federal public funding. And most of it's moving through Medicaid, which is the health insurance program that covers low-income Americans. Um, Planned Parenthood is not allowed to use government funds for abortions. What they mostly use it for are other reproductive health services. Services. They offer things like cancer screenings and contraceptives and um, other sort of STD screenings. When they talk about cutting off your funding, let's be clear, they're talking about telling many of those women, you're on your own. The defunding effort is pretty much dead on arrival. President Obama has said he's not going to defund Planned Parenthood. But if you were to see an administration, let's say after the Obama administration, that did want to defund a Planned Parenthood, um, it would probably make it very difficult for the clinics to operate. Wowzers. Okay. I find that very disturbing. But you know what? What I'll leave you all with is... Ultimately, especially when we talk about this election season coming in up, all right, we got Kamala Harris and we have Donald J. Trump. And they both have very contrasting views when you talk about abortion, all right? And all I want to say is, look, we have two very different choices this fall, a vote, a vote for Trump and J.D. Vance is a vote for a national abortion ban where you do not have control of your body and a vote for VP Kamala Harris as a vote for freedom, freedom to choose, freedom to have complete control over your body. But ultimately, if you knew at the end of 
that abortion, that some of those babies' body parts, a kidney, an arm, a leg, might be offered up to the black market, would you still do it? Call in 833-212-1017. I'm not saying it's all true, and I'm not saying it's all false either. But what I am saying is, this is what's happening in Ben Jamin's universe. Jammin' with Juice returns after this on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, 1017thetruth.com, and streaming live on YouTube.